Meanwhile, the federal government has explained why it will not remove subsidy now. Speaking in an exclusive interview with Reuters in London, the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, says the federal government cannot at the moment remove subsidy on the premium motor spirit, popularly called petrol, owing to the fact that many other nations were introducing measures to help citizens cope with high oil energy prices. Hence, Africa's most populous country could not be an exception. Nigeria is Africa's largest oil exporter, but still has to import almost all its fuel needs due to a lack of refining capacity. The federal government shelved plans to abolish fuel subsidies earlier this year, a move that raised concerns with the International Monetary Fund. The minister believes that a new industry law that allocates money to oil-producing companies would stop a tax and blamed the European Union's climate change policies for stifling investment in the sector.